Are y'all ready to get started making this delicious angel food cake? Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks, and today we're making one of my very favorite things, an angel food cake. They're so light and fluffy. This is in our second cookbook, and we'll be having it with some fresh strawberries. The first thing you're going to do is crack a lot of eggs, because you're going to need one and a half cups of egg whites. So you're just going to separate them out. Well, you can really tell which egg is cool and which eggs were still at, have been at room temperature for a while. These are large eggs, so we're going to see about how many it takes to get that much egg white. Okay, that took about 13 eggs. So use large eggs. It's going to take around 12 to 13 eggs to get the whole full one and a half cups of egg whites. And we'll have to do something, of course, with the yellows as well. But not for this cake. You can use the yellows in a sponge cake. Um, now, here's our whites. And this, this is when you're going to sift your flour and your powdered sugar together. All right, you're going to be using a cup of flour and one and a half cups of powdered sugar. So I'm going to put the cup of flour in here. And then we're going to be using one and one half cups of powdered sugar. I hope I've got that much in here. If I don't, I'll go get some more. But I have some left in this bag. I have found the best way to keep powdered sugar is in a bag. Same way with brown sugar. For some reason, if I put um, them and try, I try to put them in something, they always wind up getting lumpy. My powdered sugar does. All right, there's one. And then we're going to add another half cup to that. I could probably get it in the sifter. Let's get these out of our way. And now you're just going to sift that powdered sugar together with the flour and put it in a bowl. You need to do that in a separate bowl. My mama used to make these cakes a good bit when I was young because they're low in fat. And uh, matter of fact, they don't have any oil in them. Okay, I was using the Pioneer Woman sifter that someone had sent me and it was taking so long to get it sifted. So I grabbed my Old Faithful out of the cabinet and boy, what a difference it makes. Now that's a sifter. The sifter metal pieces have to go right up against the strainer for it to uh, sift it good. And I always take my hand and smash what's left in the bottom through the strainer too. But boy, um, does it make a difference. So whenever you get one, see how that scrubs the bottom? And I'll show you this one. See, it's not scrubbing the bottom. So if you pick one up in the store and you buy it, do that, and if it's not scrubbing the bottom, don't buy it. All right, it's time to make the meringue. I'm going to grab um, a teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon, and we are going to start our meringue. Now, we're going to be beating this on the high speed, and um, it's going to be loud, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what's going in. We're going to be adding the one and one half cups of egg whites. And I'm going to go ahead and put my extracts in. So we're going to put in a teaspoon of vanilla. And a teaspoon of almond. And of course you can substitute the almond if you don't like it to taste like almond, but I love it. We're going to be using one and a half teaspoons of cream of tartar once it gets to go in the mixer, and a whole cup of sugar and a dash of salt. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in the dash of salt, and we're going to start this up. We're going to gradually add our sugar as our egg whites beat, and we're going to beat them until stiff peaks form, okay? What that means is when you take a spatula and you do like this off the top, the peak should actually go to the top tip 
and not curl over, but actually be stiff enough to stand up, okay? So we're gonna turn it on and start our mixer up, getting these delicious egg whites beat together. Show your spatula how it did. See how it's standing up on my spatula? So we are going to start mixing up this cake. What you do is um, you mix these whites in with your flour and you fold them in together and then you bake it. And there's no need to grease the pan. You don't grease your pan. You just run a knife around the edge of it when you get it out. Mine doesn't have feet. If you buy one of these, I think the one on my side actually has little legs on it. You want one that has legs on it. Um, if I had it to do over again, of course, I'd buy one like that because when it gets done, you're going to flip it upside down and those legs keep it from resting on the counter. I actually have to prop mine on something because I don't have one with legs. All right, but it's a good pan, so I'm not going to get rid of it just because of that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add about a third of this at a time. So you're going to do this about three times. You're going to be putting about a third of the egg whites in your bowl with about a cup or so of your flour sugar and you're going to fold it together. This time I'm gonna to try to stay on the left side of the pan because that first bunch is over there on the right hand side and try to get the flour and sugar in this and not what I've already got flour and sugar in. Makes a lot of pretty egg whites, don't it? It smells so good too. Put that almond extract in it. And if you don't want the almond extract, you can always just use two teaspoons of vanilla. A little bit more. A lot of people think it's really hard to make an angel food cake, and it's really not. You just have to fold it together and take your time. And you don't use a mixer to do it. You just fold it with a spatula or a large spoon until you got it mixed together good. That should do it. You don't want to over mix it. That's perfect. So now we're going to take our pan and this pan is two comes in two pieces and that's what you want you don't use a regular buck pan because when you take this out you've got to be able to get the cake out of it and I'll show you how to do that when we're taking the cake out but make sure you use a fluted pan two pieces you don't grease it or anything so now you're just going to put your batter in your pan Alright, 
we're going to get it in the oven and we're going to bake this at 375 degrees for 40 minutes. All right, we're going to bake this at 375 degrees for 40 minutes. It's going to be delicious when it comes out of the oven and it's going to have to cool down. Okay, we're going to get this out of the oven and we're going to flip it upside down to cool. And see the pretty cake? And we're going to flip it upside down and if you had feet, it would hold it up off the top of the counter. But I don't have little feet on mine, so I'm going to have to flip it over like this on top of this. Um, I think I'll just leave these under it like this. And we're going to let that cool. All right, we've got about two and a half cups of strawberries out of that. And I'm going to put about a half cup of sugar in them. Maybe not the whole half cup. That ought to be plenty. Because they're pretty sweet. It's going to how sweet your strawberries are as to how much sugar you're going to put in them. And now we're just going to put this in the microwave. And we're going to microwave these for about three minutes. Spread them out and something to cool. This is cool completely. So once it's completely cooled down, you're going to take a knife, a flat knife, and you're going to go around the edge of the cake in the pan. To loosen it from the edge. Then you should be able to lift it right out of the cake plate or the cake pan. And now you're going to take your knife and you're going to go around the bottom and that way it'll come up off the pan off the bottom. I got a little bit brown, didn't I? Uh-oh, I'm messing up the top doing that. And then go around the middle a little. And lift it out. And put it on your cake pan. Your cake plate. Aw, some of it broke up. All right, we're going to cut us a piece of cake, and I am going to try and keep it from breaking all the pieces on the top because I kind of let it get messed up when I cut it. I just kind of kept my finger on the top because this wants to break up. It's real delicate on the top. So you can put And cream. Don't that look delicious? Yummy yum. All right, we're going to try it. Get some whipping cream. Mmm. Nothing like fresh angel food cake. It's so light and delicious. And fresh. Well, it's good. Go make you an angel food cake, especially those of y'all out there with a bunch of chickens. Y'all have a great day, and thanks for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.